want to earn lots of money in Palia? Well, today, this video aims to help you do that with several different techniques of money earning. We're going to go over my first one, though, and it's going to be quick. Uh, we're going over the first one that got changed within a patch of Palia very recently when they introduced Magic Market. Basically, what has happened is that there was a huge change to hunting and deer farming. So you've probably seen a few videos that go over hunting and deer farming, but doing just the regular ones is not going to cut it anymore. I highly recommend you grab some slow arrows and you go ahead and go for the Proud Horn Cernux because they had an absolutely huge buff which made them drop more resources and more horns. Now, yeah, I recommend slow arrows or iron arrows, or you could do it with anything, really. It just makes the job easier. Usually you can ping them with one slow, one iron, and they go down. Or you maybe need one slow, two iron, and they go down. You get the point, but it gives you a lot now. Now, when you take down a proud horn, they give you four hide and two meat, and they have a very high chance of dropping their antlers. And the antlers are really worth it, so they're 150 per piece if you get the antlers. Unless you get the star version, then they are 225 per one. So I went out and I did a 20 minute farm and I come back with this many resources. Let's just have a little look what that did for me. I pretty much, what I did, I went around Bahari Bay in the north and I went ahead and farmed up there in two of my favourite spots which we'll go over in a bit. And that's where I spent my time farming away the uh, local deer population and I got myself quite a few bits and bobs. So this could be really, really profitable way of getting uh, coins while you wait on your passive options, which you're going to go over. But this is what 20 minutes of farming will do for you. Even the choppers got an upgrade, but I recommend the deer purely for the antlers. So that's giving me 6,200 for 20 minutes work, which is really, really good. So and the deer like spawn all the time so you can always farm them. I also quickly want to go over a couple of spots I use for farming quite regularly when it comes to this. I really like flooded steps area. That's a really good spot. And then there's this other good spot just to the left of Statue Garden that also spawns deer a lot. So I highly recommend that in the north of Bahari Bay if you want to farm a lot of these deer. They also recommended bringing a lot of arrows because it may feel like a lot, but it really isn't. So, yep, I wish you the best of luck. And now I'm going to go on to my second money earning option, which is a passive one, which is gardening, which also got tweaked in the patch, by the way. A lot of people say tomatoes are the thing, tomato seeds, not anymore, okay, guys? So let me kind of explain this to you. Beforehand, you would use tomato seeds in the cedar to get money out of them because instead of just selling them raw a raw tomato gives you 23 not worth it but a seed will give you 40 which is like double and even better however they up the seeds the requirement to free tomatoes most farms of your tomato plant will take it will give you free tomatoes with most farms so it will take three tomatoes to make two seeds each in 30 minutes which is still good but i got a better way you can use them really and you'll need the preserves jar for that now in here you can use one tomato and you can pickle it for 27 minutes which is less time for 34 which is a little less i do know that but it is quicker and it takes less tomatoes one for one and the other ones are three for two so it's actually more worth to pickle your tomatoes than to seed your tomatoes than if you have the star ones you'll earn 51 per pickled tomato pot so there you go i have a full stack here overnight just left it going 1530 just for that and the tomatoes are really fast in this hopper as well for the preserves so i highly recommend it in my other slot i decided to do apples for apple jam because that will give you quite a lot for one per one so for one for one it gives you 96 gold and if you use the golden stars that's 144 for a golden apple now i was debating on using the apple seeds in here to sell apple seeds do give you a lot but they're worth 700 and they give you one seed but it uses 10 apples so actually it is not better to do the seeds 
if you have apples which are really good at earning money you want to turn them into jam you could technically do this with blueberries as well as a passive but i prefer to eat blueberry jam because it's really good for your renown so that's how i like to use them but i like to juice apples tomatoes if i don't have any apples then i'll probably be doing blueberries for renown or you could always do pickled potatoes pickled potatoes are really good because a normal potato just sold is 45 but if you pickle them one for one is 68 and it takes 54 minutes now when it comes to seeding it's a different equation seeding is one of the most profitable fast and easy ways to get money in palia so pretty much here i just leave these going i put the potatoes in they go potatoes i've been experimenting with because they do give you quite a bit of money 20 for one for one so one potato gives you four seeds but it does take an hour 24 so it's a long taking one but they will give you quite a nice amount of profit and we're all going to sell this in a minute so you guys can see what exactly it's giving me if you're not really interested in the blurb and you're just like yeah potatoes i'm going to put it in there another one i've changed to is cotton cotton is one of the fastest seed crafting items in the game you get quite a decent amount out of it it also grows really quickly and you get quite a decent amount of money out of those so it takes one cotton for three seeds which gives you 20 and that is in 36 minutes for the seeds that you'll get free at a time so these can run really quick and you can grow the cotton really quick and you can get money really quick another one of my favorites is either wheat or rice seed but wheat gives you a little bit more than rice will because wheat gives you 12, rice gives you 11. Either or, they're really good to make into seeds to sell, especially if you can get on the star seeds game because they will give you even more money to sell. So yep, just keep those going. If you don't have one or the other, switch it to the other. I haven't done my farm yet today. So as you can see, all these things grow really quick. Cotton grows quick, wheat goes quick quick and that's how i want to do the money and i do some tomatoes as well to make into the jam because they make you a ton of money and if you do farming more regularly and you put more cedars down and more preserved just you'll get even more money so you kind of get the drift there farming is a great way to make passive money let me just grab my pickled tomatoes so let's have a look at the profits from this i basically left it overnight i went to sleep you know had a good nap and i haven't lifted a finger i just put some stuff in here overnight i'm gonna take this out and show you what this gives me so putting all the seeds in for the money seeds alone 4320 and i haven't even blinked an eye or bothered to you know make much effort of that and then i add the preserves on top that's even more money so there you go that gives you a wonderful idea so i can make passively without much effort nearly 8k a day you know and then do your farming on top of that and what are we looking at we are looking at 14k so it gives you a lot so just keep farming the deer for a lot of money and do your farming farming is going to give you loads and loads of money if you do it that way highly recommend it if you need to earn some in a pinch i'm going to get that paycheck very happily and do my garden but that is the ways i like to earn money in palia is very efficient and very good highly recommend the passive one because you really don't have to make much effort to you know do anything with that one and you just get money and you can just keep racking it up to the point that you can you know unlock your last backpack slot or whatever else especially with a new market event going on i highly recommend this way of money earning and things can get really expensive in palia anyway so i highly recommend getting your garden together getting those jams going getting those seeds going and selling them on of course you keep a few seeds by so you can plant more but you can pretty much just go ahead and sell pretty much all of your produce as long as you've converted it into something more because you should never really sell them just straight out because they don't give you as much money as if you were to convert them into seeds or jam 100 percent, you want to process them don't just sell them as they are it's a huge waste of money otherwise and that's pretty much it those are my favorite ways to make money in palio i highly recommend it you could also try fishing which is okay but it's a bit hit or miss because it really depends on uh one your worm count so how many worms you've processed overnight and then you have to stop 
and then the other one is the fish might not always be as good and not as much money so it's a little inconsistent whereas the deer you are guaranteed the four lever to meet every time you kill one of the proud horn ones so that's kind of why i recommend it more over the fishing anyways let me know what your favorite money making ways in palia is in the comments down below and i hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one bye bye